Hello Internet and welcome back to EGT. We're here from my living room. And today we're going to be talking about the new Nintendo Direct, The Witcher TV series, and the Destiny livestream, and so much more. The Witcher is a series that started as a book back in the 90s and progressed to games. Now, we may be seeing it come to Netflix as a TV series. Microsoft's Project Scorpio is something we're going to be hearing a lot about at E3, but for now we have the tech specs. It has a GPU running at 6 teraflops and 1172 megahertz. It's 8 core custom AMD CPU, runs at 2.3 gigahertz per second, and has 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM. According to a tech demo, a Forza tech demo, it was running at 60 FPS and broadcasting in 4K. Suck on that, Sony. So it's time for DLC Watch, kids. It's the new Mafia 3 trailer. Looks fan-fucking-tastic. Mafia 3 Stone Un Stones Unturned is a DLC that has you teaming up with a guy I've never heard of to take down a guy I've never heard of. You get sniper support and a bunch of other stuff, but more importantly, you get to have shootouts in an overground island. Two Worlds 2. Next up, we have Two Worlds 2. Wait, really? That piece of shit is getting DLC? It came out like six years ago. Why are they suddenly releasing DLC for it? Well, it's probably because they're making an oh-so-timely Two Worlds 3. God help us all. Ghost Recon Wildlands is getting a DLC called Fallen Ghosts. You don't get to play as an actual ghost and walk through walls and shit, but you do get new weapons and new plot. Nintendo Direct, that's a thing that just happened. They just did one on ARMS, which is their new attempt at a competitive esports game that I think might just succeed. Now, if you're not in the camp that believes that, you can try out their demo on May 26th through the 28th, or June 2nd through the 4th. And, uh, that wasn't the only thing they showed off, was it, Quinn? Not at all. Splatoon 2 for the Nintendo Switch is going to have a brand new single player mode. It's actually going to have the same gameplay as the multiplayer this time. So you can jolly well practice until you can shove a paint much up your... Sorry, I blacked out there for a second. Anyway, Spoon 2 launches on July 21st for the Nintendo Game Gear. <clears throat> Wild West Online is an upcoming Western MMO. They got all of its funding without having to use Kickstarter, which is pretty damn impressive if you ask me. You can play as a female character, which is great if you want to roleplay Calamity Jane or Janice Joplin. The game also has card games like Go Fish. Moving on. Welcome to Quickfire. Pokemon Go is on the last November 25th. Pokestop get out more items. Foxhole and Rock type Pokemon are easier to catch. Uh, Adventure Hat, pretty neat. And Birdie Pokemon give out more candy. Some freaking GTA 5 is roleplaying a cop. Take my advice, that's not your idea in real life. Sonic Forces allows you to create your own OC. I can't wait to see the terrible things that come for that. So Far Cry 5, it might be spaghetti western, sounds delicious! The Crew 2 was announced! Nobody cares! So there's a, gonna be a new Life of Str Life of Strange game, or season as it were. Not quite sure I get that, but who cares what I think? Welcome to Andy's Showcase! Today we're going to be talking about Oceanhorn 2, Knights of the Lost Realm. It picks up where Oceanhorn left off, and you can see 15 minutes of gameplay from Corn Fox and Burroughs right now. Next, we're going to talk about Kinseed, a game developed by veterans of Lionhead Studios, developers of Fable. You get to grow old, die, and pass down your legacy over multiple generations. And you can pick up this game right now for seven bucks on its Kickstarter page. They're three thousand dollars away from their goal, and uh, you should really go pick that one up. And lastly, we're going to be talking about For the King. The King is dead! The Queen is having some trouble, and uh, she's enlisting the citizens of the kingdom to help out. Will they be able to save the kingdom? I don't know. Check it out right now on Early Access for $15.
Welcome to Tech News. The GTX 1030 has been released, allowing gamers to get in for affordable integrated graphics on a budget. You can currently pick one up from EVGA for $75. And on top of that, we got an AR rock climbing wall developed by Alto University in Finland. It is a rock climbing wall that has a connect overlay developed so that you've got like an AR rock climbing wall and then you play Pong. And I don't know, there's, it's hard to put into words, so I'll link the video down below. Now we're going to go check in with Dylan with the weather. It is currently really hot. I've got my protection on, so I should be fine. Dylan? Thank you, Dylan. Who knew the sun was so hot? Good. Not even a real gun. It's totally a real gun. Today, I'm going to recommend The Godfather, the movie, the game, which was a game that I spent a lot of time playing when I was a kid. The only problem with it is it's really hard to 100% unless you're actively trying to get all of the executions, which is something I forgot about at least four or five times. If you want to play a good game for free, and you like to impale your enemies with a rusty spear, then the Blackheart might be for you. The only problem is that it's really bad about crashing while you're recording it. As you might see from the link in the description, maybe, I don't know, you would have to ask Dylan. It's time for Rumors. Today, we're going to be talking about Thief. Not the shitty reboot, but the original series. There might be a sequel. We can only hope that it is not going to be a sequel to the reboot. But there is no information because this is just a rumor. <laughs> but in other news, there might be a movie coming too. We might find out more at E3. As for E3, it's looking like we're going to see a live stream of Super Mario Odyssey. I love Oddworld, so I'm excited for the crossover. We also might be seeing that Assassin's Creed Crocodile game, ARMS 2. Maybe some new information about Microsoft Squ Pro Pro Project Scorpion. Let's just hope it isn't taken out by the Sony Wasp. There's no such thing as a Sony Wasp. You made that up. No, I would never do that. But seriously, folks, it looks like Sony might be talking about VR. Or not. None of this is confirmed. The schedule for E3 is as follows. The conferences start on Sunday, June 13th. I mean 11th. In LA. With the Xbox and Bethesda events. I'm super excited for the new Morrowind expansion, followed the next day by the PC Gaming Show, Ubisoft, and PlayStation. Can't wait for Assassin's Creed 69, I mean 26, on Monday, the next day, Nintendo will be taking the final spot. Hope they'll finally get to release Quest 64 Part 2. Welcome! To the good, the bad, and the weird. So, the good news. Uh, so a bunch of filthy pirates are making and selling custom amiibo cards. But there's a reason that they're doing it. Amiibos have DLC on them, and it can be very hard to get the amiibos that you want. Once I saw an a Mabel from Animal Crossing amiibo at GameStop, that was labeled Sonic the Hedgehog. So naturally, there is a market for pirated amiibos. And who could blame them? Who needs laws anyway? In bad news, the SD2 PC port has been delayed, which is just great. Uh, last thing we're going to need to hear about is more angry PC people complaining about console peasants. Now let's talk about cheating. It's one of the greatest human inventions and one of my favorite activities. And now it's finally in Breath of the Wild. 
there's a cheat code mod for Breath of the Wild that lets you conjure up any object, character, enemy, or boss. Oh, the things I could do with that. And people would love me for it and they'd cheer. No, 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 no. Uh, in bad news, let's talk about the Overwatch uh, graphic novel that was can canceled. Um, it sucks, but the creators said that it would limit their creative universe, and uh, well, it's better this way. So if you don't like it, get fucked. And uh, I guess back to the good, the good news. Um, Gold by Source has released two new maps, which is pretty neat. It hasn't been updated since like 2013, so uh, I'm pretty excited to get back into it. Now, you've also got uh, new gun sounds, like uh, different sounds for the gold and silver PP7s. Coming soon! Dylan wants, to wants me to talk about Logan in the segment. I don't know why. It's a movie, you got Wolverine, he dies. It's not coming soon at all, because it's already out. What the fuck, Dylan? Uh, it comes out May 23rd on Blu-ray and DVD, you fuck. Anyway, The Sims is getting a mobile port soon. But if you live in Brazil, then you already have it. And you have cocaine. So you're in like Flynn. I don't play mobile games, but I can see why you might want to keep up with the Joneses, or The Sims, on the go. It looks like you can do everything in this port that you can normally do, so that's pretty cool. Friday the 13th is releasing super soon. It's gonna allow you to play as Jason and chop up camp counselors. It's available on May 26th, 2017, and it sounds pretty cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a single player mode just yet, but the devs are adding in it in as we speak. They'll be releasing it as a free update. Next up is Alien Covenant, not affiliated with Halo. It's a movie where a bunch of astronauts go to a planet and they're all like, this place looks safe. Oh no, it's not safe. And then the other guy's like, what do we do? And the dude over there is like, let's get the fuck out of here. And the Xenomorph's all like, rah, 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 grr, I'm gonna get ya, I'm coming for ya, I can smell ya. And the one astronaut is all like, no, nah, bruh, don't smell me, I didn't shower this morning. Anyway. That's it for this episode of EGT. Join us next time when we murder everything Swear in sight goals. and beat up old women. Today, we're going to be talking about the GT. Oh,